On the 102nd day of Iran's nationwide uprisings, anti-regime protests continued in different cities throughout the nation. The hearts and minds of millions were with locals in the city of Iza who gathered to mark the 40th day of the murder of Kian Pir Falak, a bright 10-year-old who has captured the hearts of a nation, symbolizing how this regime has killed Iran's brightest and shattered their dreams, not only today, but in the past four decades. The mourners honored his memory with anti-regime chants, including death to Khamenei, and Khamenei is a murderer, his rule is illegit, promising to avenge his death. Simultaneous with the ceremony in Iza, the death of a tw young 12-year-old girl, Saha Etebari, was reported. Saha was shot by IRGC forces on Christmas in Bastak, Hormuzgan province. IRGC forces opened fire on the family's car at a checkpoint without any warning. Iranians took to social media, stating yet another Kian has become victim to this regime. In mourning ceremonies held for those killed by the regime's security forces, protesters chanted in unison against the mullahs, the IRGC, and the Basij, suppressive forces responsible for the relentless crackdown against popular unrest. In Dashti, locals marked the 40th day of Hamid Molai's murder by the regime's security forces with chants of this is the year Sayyid Ali will be overthrown. In a sim similar ceremony, in Salandaj, locals marked the 40th day of the murder of Oram Habibi by the regime's security forces with chants of death to Khamenei. In Saqiz, locals gathered to mark the 40th day of the murder of Daniel Pabandi by the Mullah security forces, launching an anti-regime rally with chants of death to the dictator and death to Khamenei. To further highlight the nation's unity vis-a-vis -vis regime's divisive plots and policies, protesters, protesters chanted, Kurt Baluch Azari, we all stand for freedom and equality. On Monday, workers of the Abadan petrochemical sites launched strikes, protesting threatening letters sent to their colleagues who have recently participated in protest. The complex was shut down at around noon local time as a result of the strikes. In Mahabad, northwest Iran, locals continued protest against the regime, establishing roadblocks and taking control of the streets. In other reports, students in a school in Saqiz, Masa Amini's hometown, boycotted classes in solidarity with the ongoing protests across, across the country. In Pave, Western Iran, according to social media reports, protesters targeted a base of the regime's IRGC paramilitary Basij units with hand grenades. That's it for today. Thank you for joining us.